Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Doc Training Web Series. This video shows you how to configure a SharePoint document library to accept hyperlinks and then how to add a hyperlink to the SharePoint document library. Please know that you won't be able to link shared drive links as they don't start with an HTTP. Those in mind, um, the recommended links or external links that you can use is websites or PDFs that's uploaded probably on your OneDrive or somewhere um, on your other sites or websites as well. These links can be made use of. I mean, you can basically add them to your SharePoint document library instead of uploading them. So let's go ahead and uh, configure it in the beginning. So this is a document library. Now, in order to have your document library compatible or to allow hyperlinks to be added, you have to go to the settings. That is, go to the library here, click on library settings. And then go to advanced settings. And here you need to select yes, allow management of content types. You need to select yes and then click on OK. And then you need to go select add from existing site content types. That's just below content types, right? If you scroll down a bit, you can see it over here, right? Let's select on that. And here you need to select on link to a document. So you can just scroll down a bit. Yeah, here you go. So just select link to a document and click on add and then click on OK. Great. So now we have set it up for your document library. OK, and let's let's see how it works now. In order to make it work, you just click on new. You have an option called link to a document. Just select on that. And you just have to type the name of the document. So I'm just gonna give a URL for an example to my website, right? So basically you can put up your external links over here. So instead of, so if you wanna have a URL, you can basically do that over here, right? I'm just gonna click on that. There you go. So this is how we add a hyperlink to a SharePoint document library. Hope you enjoyed this, watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Doc365, and we'll be coming with more and more SharePoint technical videos. Stay tuned and have a great day.